The security options in Roman Cart allow you to both restrict access to the cart from a particular domain name and also you can block IP addresses to block those IP addresses from adding stuff to the basket. Um, so to restrict it to a particular domain name you would just type in your domain name in this box here. And so this is our demo store, oneshades.com. Uh, you can enter one URL. Uh, this is obviously going to be the URL for your website. And in this case, we've put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.oneshades.com, which is the domain name for our website. Um, so what that means is if someone clicks on an add to basket button that's not at that location, not on your website, then um, they will see an error message. In fact, it says error AZ5263. Okay, and also on the screen you you will see where they the URL that they were actually clicking on. So what that means is if someone kind of you know copies your website or or places your own add to basket buttons on their own website for whatever reason, then they'll be rejected. And you can look on the screen and uh, and see uh, see where they've been placed basically. Now. Um, it's important to notice, note at this point as well, we've put here www.oneshades.com. You might find uh, that your web hosts have kind of set up your web space so that you can access your website uh, without even putting the www in. Now, there's a number of reasons uh, why that's not such a good thing, mainly because it, uh, to, to search engines, it might look like you're duplicating content and that kind of thing. So what you want to do uh, before you do this is you want to make sure that if you enter your domain name without the www, that it forwards to the www website. In other words, the URL in your browser should change to www. And if you're not sure how to set that up, you speak to your web host and they'll be able to arrange that uh, for you. But so that's that's restricting the access. Now, the other thing you can do is you can block IP addresses, which is this tab here. And all you do is you enter the the IP address that you want to block, and you click on block this IP, and it adds it to the list. And at a later date, if you want, you can uh, you can delete those IPs. Now, with all of these security uh, settings, you know if someone's really determined, because of the nature of the internet, you can spoof headers and this kind of thing that you can technically get around them if you're really determined. But for the average user, you know, for example, here this will block the IP address uh, that's entered on here.